The U.S. Army Fire Centers of Excellence now has the capability to integrate non-kinetic alongside kinetic effects. The FCOE hosted a directed energy hardware investigation against two different types of unmanned aerial systems in September and October of 2013 at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. The objectives of this investigation were to engage real targets with a deployable directed energy system, attack more than one type of threat, engage multiple threats simultaneously, and kill these threats at operationally relevant ranges. Integral to the investigation was Phaser, a deployable high-power microwave, or HPM system, fully capable of organic or third-party target queuing. Operators can choose system parameters to either disrupt or damage the target. The Phaser system employed was mounted in a 20-foot self-contained trailer that included an internal diesel generator. Two different types of unmanned aerial systems were flown into the Phaser system's main beam. Both a Sentinel radar and a close combat tactical radar were used to detect and track both UAS threats and were linked through a command view tactical, a modernized command and control system, and networked together by main gate radios. For this initial directed energy investigation, operators kept the phaser system focused on one particular spot in the sky. From 30 September through 3 October, the phaser system engaged and shot down two different types of UAS targets, a Tempest Tier 2 UAS and a Flanker Tier 1 UAS. Both engagements took place at the speed of light and target kill confirmation was immediate. The U.S. Army's Fire Centers of Excellence team has clearly demonstrated it has the capability to lead the Army and joint warfighters into the next generation of warfare.